The act of uncorking a champagne bottle goes beyond merely removing a cap from a bottle. It carries a symbolic significance that is steeped in tradition. Whether you're at a sports ceremony, a celebratory dinner, or a holiday get-together, it's typical to see the host or hostess uncorking a champagne bottle to commemorate the occasion. If you've ever witnessed such an uncorking ritual, you may have been startled by the loud popping sound and the cork's forceful ejection, which can even pose a physical threat to unsuspecting bystanders. But what causes the cork's dramatic exit? And even more intriguing, how is the bottle corked in the first place, considering the formidable force the cork would seemingly need to contend with? Champagne, or sparkling wine bottles, are typically under significant pressure, which explains why the cork launches itself free once the wire frame holding it in place is loosened. The source of this pressure can be attributed to the liquid within the bottles. During the fermentation process, carbon dioxide, produced by a special type of yeast with a high alcohol tolerance, is captured within the bottle, forming bubbles. Since these bubbles have no means of escape, the internal pressure within the bottle continues to rise. This buildup of pressure is responsible for the much-anticipated and iconic pop when the champagne bottle is finally uncorked. It's also why shaking a bottle before opening it increases the amount of fizz. So, considering this enormous internal pressure ready to explode past any impediment, how is the bottle corked? Furthermore, have you noticed that the corks in standard wine bottles often appear larger than the wine bottle's opening? How are they inserted into what looks like an impossibly small space? The answer lies in the unique properties of the champagne cork. Noteworthy for their elasticity and compressibility, these corks are typically obtained from the bark of a specific tree, Kerkus suber, also known as the cork oak, which is celebrated for its substantial bark and impressive size. When a cork is pushed into a bottle, it easily compresses at the cellular level. Once slotted into position, it expands, forming a snug seal. In case you're still wondering how a large diameter cork can fit into a smaller diameter bottle, remember that the champagne cork, before insertion, is cylindrical, and its diameter is slightly less than the bottleneck. Applying an external force thereby compresses it easily, allowing it to slide into the bottle. Once in place, it expands and seals the bottle's opening, explaining why champagne corks look mushroom-shaped after being removed. Given the significant amount of pressure released when uncorking a bottle, it's always wise to angle the bottle away from everyone nearby, including yourself, for safety reasons. Now, the next time you engage in the tradition of uncorking a champagne bottle, you'll not only relish the celebratory occasion, but also appreciate the remarkable science behind it.